Garcia. And I'm Clayton Nemo, and we are the Office of Youth and Young Adult Ministry for the Archdiocese of Vancouver. And today, we are honored to welcome Father Thomas Rosica from Salt and Light Television, who will be sharing with us uh, his inside perspective to World Youth Days, past and present. We'll also be interviewing some of the pilgrims here and give you just a taste of what we're looking forward to as an archdiocese, looking forward to World Youth Day 2011 in Madrid. Hope you enjoy. I was blessed and lucky to be able to attend Cologne. I as well went to Cologne in uh, 2005. Cologne, 2005. I've never been to Cologne before. <laughs> First time. And I've been to Toronto and Sydney. Nine. I've been to Toronto, I missed Cologne, and then I went to Sydney, and now I'm going to Spain. Uh, Rome and Sydney. I went to um, World Youth Day 2002 in Toronto, and 2008 in, uh, not Madrid, uh, Sydney, Australia. What happened to Germany then? Um, I had no one to go with. <laughs> oh, I'll go with you. Oh, okay. Six years later. Yeah, not going to do much help now. <laughs> Actually, this is my first one, so I'm pretty excited. And I've attended the World Youth Days in Paris, Rome, Toronto, and Germany. Toronto, Germany, Australia, and this will be my fourth one. World Youth Day in Australia last year, or three years ago. None! None. So this is your first one? Yes. I'm not actually going to World Youth Day this year. I've been to Denver and Toronto. Why are you going on such an adventure? There are much easier ways and less complicated ways to have a vacation. Meeting people from around the world. Just getting to know the culture and go to Spain and see the Pope. Seeing the culture in Spain and meeting new people. I'm looking forward to the environment. Everyone screaming and clapping and crazy subway stories and things like that. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the graces that we're about to receive through this amazing pilgrimage for sure. I'm looking forward to a deep encounter with God and maybe a slight touch of vocation in there too. Meeting new people and just really feeling um, the Universal Church. It's just an overwhelming experience. You can't go to a World Youth Day and not be changed by it. You just have to open your heart and God will work through you. Um, just ready to just be able to prepare myself and my group um, for whatever the Lord has in store for us and be able to bring this experience back to Vancouver. This is actually the inspiration that I'm going to get from the priests that are present there and the seminarians. Um, it's some, some, a vocation that I'm actually pretty serious in looking into, so um, that's what I'm excited about. The culture of the church in, in Europe, because I think that'll be a whole different experience. Encountering Jesus every time is a different experience, and I come away with something new. The culture shock and just being, you know, out of my comfort zone. Like, I, I feel like this is time for the Lord to push me out of my comfort zone into a new environment where I'm unfamiliar and I can really just fully surrender to the experience. I'm excited to get my heart really stirred up. My God. Uh, the culture, uh, I think, uh, like, just a different set. Uh, my family's Portuguese and I've never been uh, to Europe, so we'll see how that goes. Looking to meet the people of Spain and really have a uh, wonderful spiritual experience. Uh, meeting people and really looking forward to adoration. Well, since I'm not going, not much. <laughs> so why are you here tonight? Just to get some information for the future. Future long range planning. Yep. Very smart. You know, a lot of people tell me I'm going to go find a boyfriend, <laughs> find a girlfriend. A lot of guys tell me I'm going to get my wife and everything else. And that does happen. All of those things do happen. I have now celebrated 25 or 26 weddings from the staff and from young people who met at World Youth Days. And we now have a whole rash of babies being named John Paul. One <laughs> one. So I'm going to to God. Now with the last name like Garcia, do you think that you may be mistaken for a Hispanic? We, oui. I mean, si. Yeah, I think so. And lastly, what strength sunscreen are you bringing? 90. <laughs> At least 30, probably. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Um, no idea. Give me a number. Uh, 15. Oh boy, I don't know, but <laughs> really, really strong. And a lot of, uh, I don't know, water. <laughs> uh, I have a uh, prescription SPF 70. 70? Okay. Yeah, because I'm quite pale, as you can tell. Are oh, you going to wear sunscreen? sunscreen? No, I'm just going to go natural. Yeah, well. Oh, natural? Oh, natural. Lucky him. <laughs> I actually have never worn sunscreen in my whole life, so I'm not too sure. Um, 
I guess I'm just gonna mooch off the other pilgrims in my group. You worried about uh, sunscreening your head? <laughs> yes, yes, I need to remember that. I think I can borrow some from you if I forget it, right? <laughs> Amazing. Vancouver is rocking. They're ready for World Youth Day, and I'm not at all surprised. What are you looking forward to most out of Spain? Uh, a good dose of joy. I think the church needs a real good dose of joy. Wild Hispanic joy. And also, it, it gives me energy and it gives me hope for the future of the church and for my own faith. Awesome. Thank you for uh, being with us tonight. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And St. Francis de Sales, pray for us.